I do like it. I've been looking around the country trying to find sites. This is a really nice site around here. It's, uh, it's really beautiful, so it's uh, a nice site. This is a pr pretty special habitat because it's so rare. Uh, all around you can see heather, which is uh, quite a special species because it blooms all at the same time and it looks pretty pink and it, you can see it from miles around. And heathlands now in the East Midlands are rather small fragments and scattered and some of them are quite close to towns and this is, this is probably uh, a really good example of that, of a heathland fragment uh, right next to a um, community, a suburban community, so it's potentially under a lot of pressure. This is a nice heathland now, it never used to be though, it's um, in an area we're right next to a superstore here, people came along and they dumped their rubbish and um, burnt out cars and now it's been regenerated to the extent where it's a really lovely bit of heathland. As I said, Heathland's so rare and it's nice to have a piece which is right next to a housing estate, right next to a supermarket. Uh, it's a really beautiful place to be, particularly during the summer when it blooms. There are some lichen here. So if you focus down here on these little green pixie cups, they're called, cup lichens. So one of the characteristics of Heathlands is that the soils are nutrient poor. And the plants that grow here, such as heather, grow slowly. They are adapted to nutrient-poor soil. And lichens only grow on nutrient-poor soils. So in the sort of agricultural landscapes of uh, Nottinghamshire, Leicestershire and Lincolnshire, one of the few places you will find lichens growing on the ground will be in heathlands. And this is a very showy lichen, a big um, lichen called Cladonia, it's a reindeer lichen and uh, this is from Scotland but we're finding this now in heathlands in the East Midlands as well. This is heather so at the moment you can see those flower heads there they go bright purple or pink in the summer you get thousands of them. Their seeds are really tiny you're talking sort of uh, less than microscopic it's tiny little seeds you won't be able to see them on my hand. Um, it grows really slowly um, I've got some in the lab that I'm growing and we're talking sort of that size after about a good two months. So they're pretty tiny, uh, which is what makes it so special because they take such a long time to grow that uh, if they get damaged, they just can't grow back quick enough. So um, this is again why this site is so special. And as you said, we're walking through Heather, there's tons of it, it's great. Lichens look like small plants. They perhaps look like a little moss. In fact, they're fungus. They're more like mushrooms than they are a green plant but they grow together with an alga in what's called a symbiosis. So biologically, they're very interesting. It is very rare now, as I said, it's, uh, we're losing it at a rate of knots, so talking about 90% well, loss since the 1920s. Um, so it gets damaged so easily. Um, it's, if you leave it alone completely, then it disappears because uh, it gets damaged, uh, trees and grasses come in. So it does need some kind of management. Uh, it's a long-term process. So here they cut it, uh, they might have some grazing with sheep. So um, it's, it's special because it needs tender loving care to keep it here. <laughs> yes, I can get very excited about lichens. Uh, they're uh, um, a unique example of this phenomenon called symbiosis. And heathlands should be very rich in, in lichens. They're very sensitive to air pollution and uh, so um, during the 60s and the 70s when sulphur dioxide pollution was bad then uh, lichens tended to have disappeared from heathlands and they're, they're beginning to come back. So this is a good news story. I can see a tree, this is a birch tree, a silver birch. Uh, it's not so good for heathlands because uh, when you get trees that come in they can start shading heather and when heather doesn't have light it starts to die off. Thankfully this is quite rare around here, you don't see too many silver birches. You can tell this silver birch by this bark, it's quite distinctive, it's uh, bright white. People plant this in their gardens and in fact they sit there and polish them <laughs> to try and make them shine as best they can. Um, but here it's pretty natural the way it looks, it's just a nice gnarly bark. 